Hey guys, Sean here again from Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to go over the surprising truth of being a landlord in Atlanta or Georgia. So, right now, as the real estate market is hot, a lot of people are romanticizing the aspect of owning rental properties. Uh, truth be told, owning rental properties is hard. Uh, a lot of people don't really realize that until they get into the rental property game and they're managing their own rentals. Uh, when you're speaking to your friends and family who own rental properties, uh, they're never going to tell you the things that are bad unless they're actually very truthful and vulnerable people. Uh, they're not going to tell you when things are going wrong. Uh, people typically only tell you what's going well with the rental properties. Uh, they're going to be bragging about the rental properties and all the jazz that goes along with it. We're here to uh, demythify all that stuff. So. Uh, the four things uh, that are the surprising truth about owning a rental property are there's work required. Uh, rental properties are hard work. Uh, there's time required. Uh, they take a lot of time. Uh, the cost, they get very expensive. And the stress, uh, all those combined can be very stressful. So first things first, uh, the work required. Uh, up front, you have to, if you, if you go about the correct way, you get educated about it. Uh, you learn how to analyze properties, uh, what to look for in the rental property, uh, decide what types of rental properties you want to start buying, uh, and then you have to vet and find realtors who are a good fit for you and what you're looking for. Not all realtors are created equal. Uh, some, there's only a select few that truly deal with investment properties. A lot will say they do, just to get the sell and just to get you uh, to sign an exclusivity agreement with them. Uh, a little pro tip, never sign an exclusivity agreement with a realtor. Uh, that doesn't incentivize them to do hard work for you. And if you have an exclusivity agreement with them and you go find an investment property on your own while you have that agreement with them, they get a cut of that deal, whether they helped you or not. So that's just a tip. Uh, if they are forcing you to sign an exclusivity agreement, just don't work with them. Because if you have a good, hardworking realtor, they won't make you do it. I've never had to sign one, and I don't know of anybody who has had to sign one when purchasing an investment property. So, work required. Uh, finding and vetting the agent. You have to find a loan officer, go through all the paperwork, of getting your loan processed and be able to get pre-approved and close on a property uh, and get the loan for it. So then you have to start walking properties, you have to start analyzing properties, uh, you have to run the numbers on rehabbing the properties. Uh, if you're doing Section 8, uh, you have to get certified through Section 8 so you can own a Section 8 property or a property that uh, caters to Section 8 personnel. Some, or some places you have to get your property certified through the city as a rental property versus a homestead property. Uh, there's a lot of work required up front. So during ownership and management of the property, you have to fix things. You have to fix toilets, uh, take calls. You have to be there on weekends. Uh, if there's problems, you have to change up water heaters. You have to manage contractors. Uh, if there's emergencies, you have to handle that in the middle of the night. Uh, a lot of people will argue against rental properties uh, and say toilets and termites and tenants are bad things to have. But in reality, that, those things don't happen a lot. It's just something to be aware of. Second thing, it takes time. Uh, when we own rental properties, we still do in Michigan. When we live there, we manage them ourselves and we would have to go out there every three days, uh, typically at a minimum every three days uh, at least once a week we were going out there and it was like a 30 minute drive to each property and we were spending a lot of time managing those properties uh, managing the rehabs on them uh, the tenants if they had questions if things broke we had to go fix it uh, if we had to go buy materials if we had to go fix things ourselves we were spending a lot of time uh, going and fixing those properties and managing them and we had full-time jobs. So it's hard to have a full-time job, eight to five, and then you go drive 30 minutes to get to your rental property 
and then manage it there as well. It's like a second time or a second full time or part time job. It's pretty significant. Uh, there's costs associated with it. You have to put up the 20% down payment if you're going through a traditional loan. Uh, so if it's a $100,000 property, you have to put twenty dollars to $25,000 down to $30,000 down, depending on your loan officer and the loan program that you're going through. Uh, if there is rehab that has to be done, you have to come out of pocket on that rehab. Uh, those rehabs can cost anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000. Uh, depends on the scope of the work that you want to do on the property. Uh, try to keep it as low as possible. That way your return on investment is as high as possible. So there's a lot of cost to be involved. Uh, it's not just getting the down payment and then you're clear. Uh, you have to go in there, replace mechanicals, so furnace, HVAC, uh, water heater, uh, sump pumps, stuff like that. You have to re maintain and replace those, do the rehabs. Uh, when tenants turn over, you have to repaint re-carpet, re-floor, uh, you have to fix things. It costs a lot of money. Uh, be aware of that and be aware of those costs and keep reserves on the sides because those costs will come up. Uh, and then there's stress involved and your level and capability of handling all that stress, uh, the work required, the time required and the cost required uh, can be very stressful. Uh, be aware of all of these items and just take that into account when you're considering going into owning a rental property, whether you are moving out of your house and turning it into a rental or you're buying a rental property. Uh, these things are items that you need to be aware of. To mitigate uh, your stress, cost time and work involved, you can hire out a property manager. Uh, if you have a good one, they will handle a lot of things for you and basically all you have to do is check up on your property check the statements, make sure everything is good. Uh, they'll send you pictures, they'll keep you very updated, uh, communication will be great. When you have a good property manager, things are a lot more simple in your life. So to recap, uh, we have work required, time required, the cost and the stress involved with all those things. Uh, the surprising truth of being a landlord in Atlanta, it can be very hard, it can be very easy, it's all in your mindset and how you approach it. Uh, if you are interested in seeing what your options are for a property, or you just want to chat about owning a rental property and see how that can affect you, or how it can benefit you, uh, reach out to us, fill out a form below on our website, or give us a call. Thanks guys.